Good evening, Transformers Nation. 3898 here, back at it again with another video review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series number 59, Shatter. Now before we get onto the figure, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the packaging first and foremost. So from the front here, we have a nice open window that fully showcases the figure, a nice CGI image of Shatter number 59 from the Bumblebee movie, Transformers Generation text logo. And we have an up close image of CGI image of her face. Then for the back here, you have your purgatory shots here. Transformers in 27 steps. Um, does have it does include the backgrounds, which obviously, but I, I never read that part where it says background included. And then we have a further up battle image of her and CGI ima uh, image. I don't know. But other than that, guys, um, let's go ahead and take a look at the figure so that's enough of the package there we're gonna bring in the figure itself now before we get onto the figure we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the weapons she came with for each side we have the weapons and nice sculpting here so we're gonna go ahead and put one gun down and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the one so from here we can see that there's the barrel of the weapon and there's the scope but honestly I don't see how she would be able to see through the scope because it curves up a line right there but there is some nice sculpting with this as you can see it's not terrible I think they did pretty good um, I think this is really I think this really fits it perfectly but then we begin we have the peg under here where it'll yeah, fit perfectly and it suits its the suit I mean, I mean it just works nice of how the weapons look. So we're gonna go ahead and put them on. Do that. And there she is with the weapons attached. So that's basically what she looks like with the weapons attached. Go on ahead and do a side by side. But other than that, even though I don't own the vehicle mode version of Shatter, I really think, and I really do think but they nailed this one a bit more because, I mean, look at the face. I want to pull up a picture of the other one right there. Honestly, there is a much, much more difference in the face and the sculpting. Honestly, they didn't even try. It didn't even look like they even tried with the car mode shatter, which I think that one's number 43, no, 42 or something. I don't know, maybe 39. I don't know. But, um... But yeah, this is Shatter in Jet Mode. So, other than that guys, there's a lot of detailing through here. Honestly, this literally looks just how it looks in the movie. Just, there's nothing out of place with this figure. I've seen a lot of people very happy with how this figure looks. Like, I cannot wait to get Blitzwing in the picture along with Dropkick. We, get, we can get, actually get a full group. We could have Cliff Jumper, Off Road Bumblebee, Shatter, Dropkick, and Blitzwing. And hopefully one day Optimus Prime, that way we have everybody in the group. That way we can fit them all in the picture and stuff like that. But other than that, guys, there's a nice ball joint here. Or no, it's not a ball joint. It's like a, it cranks a little bit. Like the figure moves and stuff like that. Don't know if I have that on that, but yeah, no, this is what this is what she looks like with the weapons and stuff like that. Um then here are the feet here and stuff like that. Then we got the wings in the back and stuff like that. Now this was probably the most confusing part of this entire figure is that the back was a bit confusing, but you guys will get a hang of it when you get it or if you guys already do. But other than that, I think this figure really looks incredible how it looks. So, yep. That's what she looks like. So, I mean, I'm, I'm really impressed with how they were able to sculpt it as much as they did and stuff like that. Um, so, other than that, there's really not much more to talk about. There's nice red paint. Honestly, I think some silver paint could be used on the arms a bit and maybe the waist and stuff like that. But honestly, the neck here has like the lights of the vehicle and stuff like that. But honestly, that's basically about it with the front. 
Then we got like nice painted gray, like a darkish gray for the wings. There's a red coating line of paint up here, and there's a black paint next to it up here. Same goes for the middle here, for the interior. We can see like a bit of blackish rubber kind of paint. I don't know what kind of material, I think to me, I know it sounds weird, possibly carbon fiber. I'm not 100% sure. I don't think they would add that on their toy. But then again, same for the other side here. Um, there is a black code line here as also behind her arm. So that's, I mean, that's basically what we got here. So other than that, guys, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the jet mode. And do it like that. But other than that, let's just get on to it. And here we have shatter in jet mode. So we're going to go ahead and get into the detail here and see what we got. So from here, before we get into this too terribly much, I'm going to go ahead and raise the camera up just a tad bit. Like so, and there, that's much better. All right, so from here, we have the actual jet itself. This looks pretty amazing. I love how this entire thing looks. Now, I didn't add the guns quite yet, but I will in a few moments. But for here, we can see the nose of the plane is with black coating paint, the interior and cockpit. Honestly, it looked like the cockpit lifted up, like it could, like cockpit looked like it lifted up, but I tried like several times, but nothing happened. But I know for sure my MicroMasters would not fit in here like Overload and World War II Bumblebee kind of and I think a couple other ones, but I'm not 100% sure. But um, from here, there is like all this detailing here. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, the only problem is that this sometimes can get in the way when you're like doing something like that and this gets up. But honestly, it's not 100%. It's not a big deal. The landing gear can fold up into the plane and then just pull it out like so. But I prefer to keep that out. That way, when I put it down, I can just do it like that. But other than that, um, it does not roll, but it does have like a smooth, like sliding. I guess you could slide it. Now, um, another thing I've noticed for back here where like the jet thing is, you could do this. I think that's to make it go like this. Instead of making the back here go, like put it back up and make it go like that. So I'm pretty sure that's how those work. Um, the wings of the plane, like I said, the black coating paint here connects along with the uh, red paint goes in a line on each side. And then we have the black line actually keeps going all the way down to the nose of the plane. Then more it's like a black rubber i don't know why but to me the black it, the, the black part here just feels like it's all rubber i don't know what's up with that so um we have the nice red paint here um there's the wheels here on the back but um other than that this thing that i mean if they were to do so, if one of these Transformers Studio Series figures like had a complete cover up at the bottom, that way it looked like it never transformed. It just honestly, to me, this looks like an absolute model kit you get from Hobby Lobby. This is just how it looks. An absolute model kit for this figure. So, but um, other than that, I think that really does cover it up. But we do actually now. Don't know why I was going to end the video there. Um, we do have the thrusters here on each side. The repellers or something like that. A, uh, a jet, a turbine, or something like that. Whatever you like to call it. Um, we have the... I don't know what these are, but they're part of their wings to make it glide through the air. But um, other than that, I think that this figure looks amazing and before we do do something we're gonna go ahead and add the guns which i literally about forgot i can't remember what video it was that i forgot to add a weapon on and i was like oh that's so stupid i did that i'm not 100 percent sure what i did but i don't know let's go ahead and connect this piece like so 
and here we have the guns attached to it. Just like that. Just like uh, KSI boss with his little jet or his missiles. So yeah. That's technically about it. So other than that guys, I hope you all did enjoy this video. Be sure to smash that like button and click that bell notification so that way you guys don't miss my next reviews. Um, I think the next review after uh, 62 is going to be 62 is going to be uh, Revenge of the Fallen Soundwave. So I'm looking forward to that. That looks it comes with a stand, but we're not going to be getting into that. I'm going to get myself carried away talking about that. But um, we could do another video like that soon. But other than that, guys, we're going to. Uh, end the video here, but thank you guys for all the support. We are literally almost to 250 subscribers Thank you all for watching this video